The Gates of Ishtar discography is a fantastic place to study the roots of Swedish melodic death metal. They're not the first name in people's mouths, but if you ask me, these guys were a major part of the undercurrent of this genre. Welcome, friends, forge mates, to Metal Forge Reviews. I am Benfo, and I'm on a solo mission today to follow up Brandon's video from last month on his picks for the best melodic death metal albums ever. He really knocked it out of the park with those picks. It's a great segment, definitely go check it out if you haven't already. I wanted to do a follow-up because I left in a comment like 15 other bands and I was like, dude, this is my genre here. This is what I listened to as a teenager. Just wanted to talk about some of these bands and I hope that you'll recognize at least a couple of the names. Most of these groups definitely didn't get in the limelight compared to their other comrades in the melodic death, mellow death scene as I like to call it, but they all released fantastic albums during their tenure. These are the albums that I connected with at one time or another as a young teenager getting into the genre. You just heard a clip from Detonation, a melodic death act from the Netherlands. Ever since I heard their track, The Last of My Commands, from their album, In Epic Defiance, I was absolutely hooked. Like some of the other bands on this list, I don't think that they got nearly as much attention as they really deserve. There is some serious musical talent on this album with outrageously fast riffs, face-melting solos, and it's all stuffed into this fantastic melodic death thrash package. The record really kind of reminds me of what death was doing in their human symbolic era. It's highly progressive, ultra melodic, and viciously paced. Definitely check out Detonation if you don't know them right now. Arizona-based vehemence emerged from the Southwest metal scene in the late 90s. While their 2002 release God Was Created was met with a lot of acclaim, I actually didn't hear the band until their second album, which was released on Metal Blade Records, Helping the World to See. I was utterly floored by how they could pull off moments that were equally brutal and melodic. I love that. With their down-tuned guitars and highly technical passages, this band felt very forward-thinking in the mid-2000s, when the scene was really dominated by the whole metalcore sound. If you missed this album when it came out and love melodic death metal that is heavy as hell, spin this album. In the late 90s, Swedish melodic death metalers Gates of Ishtar were hard at work, cranking out some of the finest riffs and songs in the genre. They released three albums in 96, 97, and 98. Their 97 release, The Dawn of Flames, is the one I chose to highlight. It's one of my favorites. While the band is really generally classified as a melodic death act, I think that there are some blackened elements with the tremolo picking and the blast beats. These moments are really contrasted by your standard melodic death 4-4 guitar riff, matched with a halftime like backbeat sort of thing. These blackened elements push Gates of Ishtar into a little bit more of like your dissection territory. It's kind of a melodic black metal. This is an album where the songwriting beats out the sonic qualities. Even the remastered version of this record has really thin drums, practically no bass, but I have to say, this all adds to the really gritty atmosphere of the album. There are times when the tempo kind of fluctuates, the drums drag or rush a little bit, and it's not a hyper-polished record like I'd expect to hear, in 2021. The Gates of Ishtar discography is a fantastic place to study the roots of Swedish melodic death metal. They're not the first name in people's mouths, but if you ask me, these guys were a major part of the undercurrent of this genre. I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are so far on these picks. Definitely leave comments down below with some of your favorites or just put, you know, your thoughts on... Uh, what are you thinking about? Leave me a comment! And if you like videos like this, this is definitely the place to be. You're here! We do top lists 
metal reviews and best of the underground segments. It's a lot of fun. Hit the bell. You don't ever want to miss a video. God Gory is another band that typically got overshadowed in the growing Swedish metal scene of the late 90s. Like Gates of Ishtar, they were quite busy, releasing two albums in 1996, and an album in 1999 and in 2001. Their debut album, Sea of Dreams, features all your standard melodic death metal tropes, thrash riffs played at halftime, beautiful acoustic passages, rip-roaring solos, infectious melodies, and above average songwriting. I've always kind of seen God Gory and Gates of Ishtar as the Swedish cousins of the melodic death scene that were overlooked by their bigger, more prominent family members. If you consider yourself a fan of the genre though, you got to make sure that these bands are on your radar and that you listen to these discographies. They're awesome. In Thy Dreams was yet another Swedish melodic death metal band. Oh, there's a lot of these in this list in the late 90s that released some fantastic music, but the band members just weren't feeling it for whatever reason. Many of the band members are still active today in bands like Carnal Forge and Skin Eater, so don't feel like you're missing out. Highest Beauty may not be the best In Thy Dreams record, but it was the one that took the Slaughter of the Soul formula and blended it with some of the then considered modern sonic qualities. Because of this, Highest Beauty became a staple in many of the melodic death and metalcore communities. Bands like Black Dahlia Murder, All That Remains, Kill Switch Engage, Shadows Fall. These bands would all take pages from the Highest Beauty handbook thus preserving their legacy for years to come. In Thy Dreams is not my favorite band on this list, but they have made a long lasting impression on the scene. I had about 15 other bands on this list, believe it or not, but I wanted to talk about some of the more underground, but still important ones that contributed something really lasting to the melodic death metal scene. These are all special bands. Definitely check them out if you haven't already. All these albums can be found in the Spotify link that I created for you. I even favorited some of my songs, so if you want to hear, you know, just some of my favorites, go for it. As always, stay the course. Head down, eyes up, go with the gods. Yeah.